Welcome back. In this video, we will have a quick look at the stack widget. So I've created a new project folder called stack example, and I have created the material app, the scaffold, and the body of the scaffold will be a stack. And if I run it, you'll see a blank white screen. Okay, so what is this stack widget? So the stack widget creates a stacked or stack layout widget. By default, the non-positioned children to the stack are aligned by their top left corners. So basically, what a stack is exactly what the name is saying. We are basically going to put widgets on top of each other, which is a quite useful feature if you want to do some complicated layouts. So we will just look at a simple example of how we can use this. And the stack class itself, you can see that it takes in uh, children just like your normal column or your rows. So we will have children there. So I'm going to use the children property there, and this is the children we will have. So let's start off with two widgets that we're going to place on top of each other. Now I'm going to start off with a container, just to keep it easy. And let's set the width of the container to 200, and we set the height of the container to 200 as well. Let's set the color of the container to colors.red and I think for now that should be fine and if I run this now just like in a normal column or whatever you're using it will be placed on the screen on the left hand side corner all right so there you can see there's the container now I can place something on top of that container now so let's just use a normal text widget there or let's let's use an icon so I'm going to say icon and let's go with icons dot let's use a check mark so we'll say check there let's set the color of that icon and you can see it removes the the bracket so just remember to add the bracket at the end again so the color will be colors dot let's call it or let's say white there and let's make the size of that icon let's make it a 50. now let's run this again All right so you can see then i've got the container and on top of the container, I've got the icon now. If I swap these two around, I will actually not be able to see the icon because the container will be on top of the icon. So it's very important the sequence in which you place the items in the stack. So now you can see we've got the container first and on the container, we've got this check mark. So if you watched my previous video on images, you would have seen that we used a card view there with a nice image on how you can display your image. So for example, you could have your card view here and then have some data on that card view or on that picture by using a stack. Right, so if you do not position your container and your icon here, they will be in the left corner directly on top of each other. Okay, so then we can also, if you hover over the stack, you can see it says by default, the non-positioned children of the stack are aligned by their top left corners. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. They are left top aligned. Okay, so we can also change that by adding, just use control and your dot again, or command and dot on a Mac. And what we can do there is to add or wrap it with a widget. And the widget's name will be positioned. Now, if you hover over positioned, you can see that we can set a left, a top, a right, a bottom, a width, a height, and give it a child. So the child in this case is the container. Now, let's say we want to move the container and we want to put the icon also in a widget called positioned. So both of them, we want to have them at a specific position. So let's say from the top and from the left. So I'm going to say from the top. Let's move it 50. And from the left, let's also move it 50. Now let's go to the icon. And the top for the icon, let's move it down 200. And from the left hand side, let's move it 50. Now let's see how this changes now. So now you can see by playing around with the top and the left values, we are positioning this container as well as the check mark where we want them on the screen if i go want to go a bit more to the right there i will say left let's make left 70 and then with trial and error i can see how far it needs to go in order to get it to the correct position where i want to have it so you can see it moved a slight bit so this is the basics then of a stack and how you can use the positioned 
widget in order to move them around on the screen. And just remember that the stack is also just a widget. It creates a stack layout widget, which means you can use the stack inside of any other widget, even a card or a row or a column or wherever you want to use it. You can also use a row and a column inside of it. So just remember that stack is a normal widget and you can use it anywhere. And that can create some really nice looking layouts. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.